I say yo, welcome to the BBW show. We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling on a daily basis. You feel me? Subscribe to my Instagram, the underscore BBW show. You feel me? So check this out. The topic today is should the Hardy Boys reunite one last time? You feel me? Now, I made this video because last week on Raw, we seen Jeff Hardy in a 24-7 title segment. You feel me? Running around like a bunch of geeks. You feel me? Jeff Hardy, one of the greatest tag team wrestlers of all time. One of the greatest baby faces of all time. If we being honest, as far as people, like, yeah, Jeff Hardy turned heel in TNA for like three months. But in WWE, Jeff Hardy has always been a baby face, bro. For like 20 fucking years. That's some shit. I ain't gonna hold you. That's some shit. So, he was in this 24-7 segment. It went viral. Everybody's like, Jeff Hardy deserves better. He should go to AEW. Now, on the flip side, we see his brother, Matt Hardy, in AEW. And he is the most... Like, he's one of the worst parts about AEW. I'm not gonna lie. We got Brian Danielson there, Adam Cole, Malachi Black, Kenny Omega. All this cool shit. One of the uncoolest things about AEW is the Hardy family office. That is terrible television. Terrible. Whoever they fused with, whoever Matt Hardy fused with, he bring them down. When he was wrestling Adam Page that time on the pay-per-view, shitty match. When he was in that feud with Darby Allin, shitty match. He's in his feud with Orange Cassidy, shitty matches. Like, bro, Matt Hardy has been... A fucking waste since the day he walked in AEW, bro. His feud with Sammy Guevara, a fucking waste. Like, it seems like every other month he's busted open. Like, bruh, he's a fucking waste. They came in, he never had the... One, the broken match stuff never... It never got over. It's way too much played out. It's way too played out. This thing with him in private party fucking sucks. <laughs> it sucks since day one, but it fucking sucks. I'm not gonna lie, it fucking sucks. We never got him and Chris Jericho. And I felt like that was something that they should have went to a year ago. Like, that definitely could have brought more viewers to AEW when they was in these empty arena shows. We never got Matt Hardy and Chris Jericho. Like, Matt Hardy has been a fucking failure since he walked in AEW, bro. And I remember everybody was so excited for him to go a year ago. It only been a year. He only been in AEW for like 16 months. AY was so happy. Yes, he's leaving. Get the fuck out of WWE. Because they'd be wanting him to be a fucking trainer. Like, they wanted him to be a coach or a producer. Like, bro. Bro, bro. And now I'm hearing reports that Matt Hardy wants to produce now after wrestling. Like, nigga, you could have been producing for like a last two years. Like, bro, that's another thing I don't like. Like, some wrestlers got to know when to hold them and when to fold them. That goes for both of the Hardys. Like, I feel very uncomfortable just watching them walk. I feel very uncomfortable watching Matt Hardy walk. I feel very uncomfortable watching Jeff Hardy stand. Like, Jeff Hardy doing anything makes me hurt, bro. That shit makes me hurt just watching them too. And it's like, bro, I feel like both of y'all should just hang it up. Y'all are not only one of the greatest wrestling, te- like one of the greatest tag teams in wrestling, that WrestleMania, they mo- bleh, that WrestleMania moment the Hardys had in 2017 when they made their return is one of the best WrestleMania moments ever. Ever. When they came out, that pop, I get goosebumps to this day thinking about that. That shit will never be redone. I don't give a fuck if they show up at All Out 2025. They will never get that WrestleMania pop again that they got in 2017. That was some of the most, that was so much fucking fun. I ain't gonna hold you. That was so much fucking fun. And then if we being honest, they came back at that and then won the belts. 20 years later, bro, 2017, the Hardy Boys was tag team champions in WWE. Beating niggas like the Enzo and Cass. Beating the Good Brothers. Who else was the other tag team in there? I don't even remember. But they was coming in beating the young, the bar. The bar was a great fucking tag team. They came in and beat all them young tag teams their first night in. Like, bro. Then, not only that, the, they beat the Usos. One of the, la- the last time we seen the Hardy Boys together on WWE TV, or the second to last time, they beat the Usos for the tag team titles. 
This was recently, like, 2019 or some shit. So, like, they've been tag team champions multiple times just in their return at this stage in their careers. They've been tag team champions a lot. What the fuck more do y'all want to accomplish? Y'all are really just being egomaniacs. And this goes to fans and to the Hardy Boys themselves. Retire. Both of y'all just hang it up. Both of y'all need to hang it up, bro. Matt and Jeff Hardy need to hang it up, bro. I'm sorry. They both need to hang it up, bro. They both need to hang it up. Like, y'all both... It's like... I don't want to see them taking spots away from the Usos or FTR or Proud and Powerful or the Lucha Bros. I don't want y'all beating up these tag teams that's in their prime right now just because y'all got this nostalgia thing. Like, that's not fair, bro. Imagine if when y'all was in y'all prom in 2000, niggas had the Midnight Express or Arn and Tully beating y'all. Imagine if that happened. Imagine if Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard beat the Hardy Boys when they was in their prom. Niggas would have been hating shit like that. But y'all want them to get together in 2021, 2022, and be tag team champions now. Like, bro, we've got that already, bro. We got the Hardys as tag team champions in every company, literally every company, they've been tag team champions. TNA, A, not AEW, TNA, WWE, Ring of Honor, Impact Wrestling. They've been tag team champions everywhere, bro. What the fuck are y'all hanging on for? Honestly, respectfully, Matt and Jeff Hardy, please hang it up. Please. I don't want to see y'all get a reunion in AEW. I don't want to see y'all get a reunion in WWE and have a send-off. Y'all already had a send-off, bro. That WrestleMania in 2017 should have been y'all send-off. That fucking shit in WWE where y'all beat the Usos should have been y'all send-off, bro. Become producers, bro. Please. Please. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.